Hello HCG family. Uh, super duper duper late, but I couldn't sleep. So I decided, oh sorry I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> I decided to get on here and chat with you guys. I uploaded um, a video earlier today, but it was cut off. Thank you Susie for letting me know. I didn't know it was cut off, so I just took it down. Um, I, and for those of you who did see it, I'll and who didn't, I'll just give a quick recap. Uh, I just gave my stats and said I was going shopping and I hadn't eaten that much because I was going to be eating dinner at a, a nice restaurant. Uh, me and my family went to the next town over. My little boy wanted to get some Jordans. He has been wanting Jordans for so long and all his friends said, you got to go to Baton Rouge. We live um, 30 minutes from Baton Rouge and Baton Rouge has a nicer mall. So we live in Louisiana. Um, so that's what we did and did a little shopping. We went eat like like oh sorry. We went eat at a seafood restaurant. So I got my husband got ribeye and he gave me some of his ribeye, which I did not feel too good about it because it was so fatty. Like I tried to get the fat off, but I think they like poured butter sauce on it. So I like dabbed it as clean. Oh, hang on just a second. Oh my goodness, I think my dog just took a dump. Thanks a lot, Napoleon. Here. Let's say hi, Napoleon. Let's say hi. Say hi. Look, it's HCG family. Let's see. Look, Napoleon. Say hi, Napoleon. Say hi. He's my baby doll. <laughs> He's my sweet little baby doll. He loves to stay up with mama. Hi, Napoleon. Say hi. He's a good boy. He's such a good little dog. Mama, lo oh, he's not that little anymore. He's getting real big. Napoleon, look at those ears. Look at those ears. Did you take a dump somewhere? I think, did you take a dump in the living room? Napoleon, you bad boy. I can't believe you. Mama loves Napoleon. Mama knows Napoleon, even though he's a bad boy dumping everywhere. <laughs> Alright, guys. Go play Napoleon. I have a vlog to do. Alright, so another reason I wanted to get on here. I got a really cute shirt, um, which it was so weird. I'm going to tell you about it in a second. But the sizing, something wasn't right with their sizing. They had a unisex, um, which it was kind of like a guy shape real boxy so i went with the female even though the sizing was so weird um it was like small was super small medium was super small <laughs> large was super small there wasn't that much difference in the sizing i was like okay this is weird but um i have total faith in myself that i'm going to fit in this shirt after uh, another round um after maybe after this round and if not after another round so i definitely got it um, cause I love it so much and I'm about to tell you, I, um, I don't know if any of you know New Orleans, um, sometimes they have, um, this beautiful historic water meter. Let's see if I can show you. They have the jewelry. Let's see. This is what the water meter looks like. So they make the jewelry, it says water meter and it says, um, it's just like a, it's like a historic water meter. And I guess if you're in the French Quarter, you, you, you'll see these. So it's very popular and I just love it. And I got the earrings to match. I love it because it looks like a, um, just real like majestic seal or something. I just love it. So this is what I saw when I went shopping. Yeah, it's the water meter um seal on a shirt so it's like and it's hot pink on gray and it's so cute but as you can tell it's super tight let me see if i can get some sort of a body shot uh, it's so small in my little computer room um oh i think i spilled some water on it so as you can tell it's super tight let's see i don't know if i can do this Here's a little chip. So here's some sort. Oh, I'm gonna hold in my pants. These are my painting pants. This is some sort of a body shot. As you can tell that's where all my weight is. 
Um, but yeah, this the shirt is so cute. But that is the largest size that they had, and I just I love it. Um, oh man, hang on a second, guys. Get out of here, Napoleon. But this is the largest that they had. But you know what, guys? I can't wait to have this non-scale victory. Um, and this shirt fits me loose. I just cannot wait. I'm so excited about it. Because I, I just love the historic water meter. Alright, so on with my stats. Uh, today I woke up and I was so glad that that cottage cheese did not show up. I'm on and done with it. It's gone and the scale said 173.2. So I lost 0.8. I was a little... Napoleon, no! Sorry guys. <laughs> get, get! He is very hard hit headed as you know um if you know anything about bull terrors they're very hard headed bull headed just like his mama so um yes excited cuz i'm getting close to the 160s i haven't been in the 160s since october of 2012 um I so wish I knew I'm really going to have to experiment how to put pictures in because I wanted to, Ricky, I think it's Ricky, um, wanted us to put baby pictures. I'm going to have to experiment with that. Also, I wanted to show you guys a picture of my goal weight. Back when I weighed my goal weight, um, that's, I put the picture on the, uh, it's a picture of me in a bikini and I weigh like 125. I'd really like to weigh about 120. Uh, 115 but it's inspiration to me and I put it on the fridge and so when I go to the fridge if I'm feeling hungry for something that I sh shouldn't um, be having I look at the picture and it's okay which what do you want more this or that uh, and it really helps me uh, and my boys were so they're eight and ten but they were so much younger um, when I was that size they don't even remember me like that and I know they know how important it is to me to um, to be healthy and lose weight and, and I just can't wait for that to happen um, because they know they can tell that mom doesn't want to um, doesn't have that get up and go like she used to and doesn't want to get out and they know and I just um, I don't want to be that mom I want to be that mom that's there for them that goes to all the meetings at school that goes to all their sporting events that goes the extra mile that's um, sociable I want to be that mom um, for the past five years, I haven't been that mom, and because um, I've let a really bad uh, depression creep into my life because of um, how unhappy I was with myself. Ah, <sighs> so guys, I'm just—I can't speak enough about HCG. I cannot speak enough. If any of you guys is watching this and is wondering, oh, I wonder if I should try this. Yes, you should. You should. It's amazing. I'm so glad I found it. Um, it's given me hope for the first time in a very very long time um, okay so wish me luck guys I'm hoping tomorrow that I get into 172 cat, uh, area and then boosh by the weekend I'm really hoping that I can get um, well by the beginning of next week I'm hoping I can get into the 160s and so, like I said, it's been since 2012, since I was in the 160s. I think I was doing Metafast. And um, I did Metafast for like a month and a half to two months. And I lost like about eight pounds. Got me down to 162. and um, But I didn't stay there long, of course, because I didn't stay on the Metafast. And I didn't really um, learn how to integrate the new healthy eating habits. Um, but with this, it's, it's just like... I'm wondering how different, because I don't have those horrible cravings. I used to have the sugar, the junk food. I just don't have it. And I'm wondering how it will be once I'm off the HCG. Because um, I've just been eating such good, wholesome foods now. Uh, and I feel better. And I look better. And I'm wondering, uh, am I going to still crave that good, wholesome food? Um, but we'll see. I'm, I have high hopes. Uh, let's see, what else did I have to say? Oh, yes. So, I know I'm going to get into the 150s sooner or later. And I wanted to tell you guys how long it's been since I've been in the 150s. Um, I've been living in this home that we, that we, that I'm in now, um, for three years. It was three years this past December. And when we first moved here, 
that was the last that I was in the 150s. Uh, so it was three years ago. I think I was 155 when we moved here. And um, yes, that was the beginning of when my weight started uh, creeping up to the highest it's ever been. I've never been into the 160s. Um, only when I was pregnant. And that was like right after I had the, the baby, boom. I was nine months pregnant, I weighed 160. So this is the first time I ever allowed myself to just really sink that low and put on um, 30 pounds um, within a year. But um, that's the past. So glad this is a new day. And I uh, can't wait to get into the 150s. All right, guys. I hope everything's good on your end. Um, happy, happy stabilizations and happy releases. Bye.